This feature is brought to you by DuPage Credit Union. When it comes to checking on the health of athletes, we don't often consider their mental health. If it's a physical ailment, you know, we're okay talking about it, we're okay diagnosing it, we're okay treating it, um, and it's acceptable. But when it's a brain ailment, it's, look, it's frowned upon. Brandon Marshall and Project 375 were in Naperville over the weekend for their second annual mental health awareness ride with the help of Starved Rock Harley Davidson. The former Chicago Bear and five-time Pro Bowler was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder in 2011, a mental health disorder that the National Alliance of Mental Illness says affects 1.6% of adults in the United States. And it's not just adults that are having these problems, it's trickling down to the high school level. At North, we've had to have a little bit more of an open door policy for our players that, you know, if something's on your mind or there's an issue, you know, our door's open. Naperville North's head football coach Sean Drendel has been at the helm for the past five seasons for the Huskies. I think 10, 15, 20 years ago, kids were a little bit more quiet about it, so you didn't you didn't see it as much. But I, I think now, you know, we're 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 very vocal about kids being advocates for themselves. The Journal of Athletic Training says that the conversation should focus on the student athlete as a person, not as an athlete. Athletes put themselves under so much pressure and they don't know uh, what they're experiencing. They just think they're the only ones suffering from it. Then there's this culture of being tough that doesn't allow them to express how they're feeling inside. Dr. Walter Wong is the medical director at the Linden Oaks Medical Group. Wong says when Linden Oaks started, mental health talks were often pushed aside in Naperville. But as the outpatient facility grew over the years, so did the awareness. One main concern for student athletes to hurdle is how they judge themselves. Athletes are driven by performance, and so and that's how they're judged. Because if they do fall short of, of unrealistic goals, they're going to have low self-esteem or low self-worth. So what can local high school athletes do if they're concerned about their mental health? Marshall has some advice. Talk to a peer, talk to a parent, talk to a teacher, you know, talk to someone that will listen or someone you trust. Um, because that's that's part of it. That's 50% of it. You know, the first part is just getting it out, and the second part is the work. You have to do the work. To learn more about mental health, visit edward.org/lindenoaks. Reporting for Naperville Sports Weekly, I'm Joe Olmo.